Hi guys, welcome back. We are going to be painting a pro, how do you say this again? Protea, a king protea. It is supposed to be the flower of strength. And it is our next flower in the series. So let's get to painting. I don't know if you can see that it's all sketched out. I'm, I think I'm going to uh, attach a um, printable for you guys as well, so check the description for that. If you want to uh, print out the free PDF printable and go ahead and give this a whirl, that would be great. You could, uh, I don't know, hashtag... What should we hashtag? We could hashtag um, painting with Stacy. Mm, let's go here. Sorry, I'm pulling up my little set of reference photos that I had for this. There we go. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to be using my um, Jasper Stardust palette. These are all the colors. And it goes this way so that I know what I'm doing here. This is the poppy color that he has. And here this red, he, he, he calls it poppy. So we're going to use that for, this whole flower is pretty dusky rose pink. And uh, yeah, get a thin, thin wash going on on all of these petals so that you guys can at least see what you're make out what you're looking at here okay I'm gonna let those dry a little bit it's super thin so it shouldn't take too long to dry then we have two buds over here these cone shapes right here are our buds they're really pretty but they're super pale so maybe we'll just keep on with this and just do a really, really big block in of the color. There's a leaf right there, so I'll go around that. And then here. There we go. There's that. That the one. Oops the whole paper. I got everything. See? I taped this down on the bottom so that I could keep everything in frame. <laughs> um, so you guys could see what I'm doing. This guy, this whole guy is just, yeah, all the way down to there, there. There we go. All blocked in. Perfect. And I think, I think while well, those are still a little damp, I'll take some of this, what does he call this one? Orchid, this purpley color, and dab it in here and there. There we go. I like that. Okay. Kind of trying to keep this one loose and free. I might throw some pen on top of it. I don't know yet. This might be a mixed media piece. Um, I've been trying to practice doing like strictly pen and ink, strictly um, watercolor pieces without adding other things to the piece, thus making it mixed media. And, um, Oh, this is my my Princeton Neptune number eight. I don't know what happened to my number six. My number six is missing in action. I lost it right here, right, <laughs> right on the table. I don't know what happened, but um, yeah, that's the paintbrush I'm using, probably for the whole thing. I love these brushes. I did get um, the zero round out in case I want to do like little details after the fact. We'll see. We'll see how things go. I think, all right, this guy, this part here is mostly white, but you know, white's not really white, so we're going to go in with dirty water. 
and wet that down. And then down here, this part is, I have this, I have this, can you guys see that muddy green right there on my palette? It's a mixture of these two greens and some yellow, I think, and a dot of purple from one of the other muddy sections, just to make this really um, crazy green. I like a green that has many colors in it, and I'll, I'll mix more in that um, as I go, but this part is more of a greeny, like yellow. But I don't have like a grainy yellow, so we're gonna we mixed one and kind of like that a little bit, just swooping up. Because in the reference photo, there's little it's little like I don't know if it's the bottom of the little things that might open at some point. I don't know much about this flower, but that's what it looks like to me. The bottom of these. Um, white stems that come up and they kind of wrap around and in and yeah so that's what I'm painting right now and there's a lot of them so I'm just kind of winging it there and come around like that and that gives us a little bit of shape and definition to our our guy here and maybe take a little bit of this and dot it in here and there for this is root it says b dash root for the color name <laughs> it's an interesting color name i should get on his site and print off the list of colors for for this particular palette I really wanted to try his watercolors. I have other like smaller sets. I have his set of blues and I think those are a set of six for like 40 bucks which is what I started with with his palettes and I really enjoy them but um, wasn't really I need more of a gray. Maybe we'll do, we'll do the poppy and the orchid together with maybe a little touch of this mud over here. Yeah, water that way down. Grab just a little bit of it and come in here and kind of delineate some of these. the shapes of these I don't even know what they're called these these shapes it's the shapes of these shapes you guys Let me lighten those up a little bit I mean I know it dries lighter but I didn't want it that dark because it's mostly shadows around these white shapes and yeah not get carried away with getting lost in my details again which is what I normally do. There we go. And I might have to go in. Maybe not. Got that blocked in a little bit. I'm gonna let that dry and not mess with it too much. Maybe, let's see. These kind of come up like this. Here and there, kind of haphazardly. They overlap each other quite a lot too, so. This is a tighter bunch of them together. And then on the tip, maybe do, do that or not. Maybe not. Let's pick that back up. There we go. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. As Sarah Craig would say. I've, I've been listening to um, Let's Make Art videos off and on throughout my, my day. Let's see, what else do I want to do here? Let's block in the green on the leaves. Oh, there's the 
So what have you guys been up to? A whole lot of nothing? It's a lot of weeks to be in an apartment by yourself, man, I tell you what. A lot of weeks. And it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's going to end anytime soon, so... Really focusing on Work It Out, YouTube channel, um, self-improvement because I mean honestly what else am I going to do um, what else am I working on oh I have a guitar so I'm going to be um, getting on Skillshare I think Skillshare might have some some uh, guitar lesson videos see if there's any on there if there's not, I'll do something else. YouTube, free YouTube um, lessons or whatever with somebody. If anyone's got a suggestion, cool. Drop it in the comments below. And uh, I'll dig into that. But, um, yeah. I decided this year, well, one of this year's goals is to learn to play the guitar. I've been wanting to learn for years and years. And it's just one of those things you think about. You think about it and you think about it some more and you just you buy the guitar and you put it on the stand in the living room and it just kind of sits there kind of waste of money and you're not meeting goals which is kind of a bummer I've actually been using this palette quite a lot and as you can see I'm pretty messy with it I do <laughs> come in with a little bit of water later in, in the day and clean those up and throw them on like a back uh, a sheet of paper as a background color something to do practice on later and uh, yeah so there's that that's how I clean those up because I know uh, my mother does not like a messy palette at all she like wants to take all the pans out, clean them all up, and make it crisp and shiny like it's brand new. <laughs> she sees my palettes and she's like, um, can I clean that for you? No, mother. I'm going to use it just the way it is. background on this seems like um, doesn't really need a background I splattered everywhere up there that's unfortunate maybe we will do a background <laughs> maybe we will do a little splattery bokeh background back there with some maybe of this dirty water that I got going on this green dirty water I'm just kind of kill the white of the paper all together. Mm, why not? Why not? This is just practice piece anyways, right? Practice, practice, practice. Most of what we're doing is practice. Well, for me anyways. Learning, 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 always learning. Let's go kind of smooth around there and smooth around there. That's not terrible. Let's drop in some some dirty green water down here and let those colors kind of smooth around. There we go. Good enough. All right, I think I'm gonna let that dry and and come back when it's less uh, messy, wet, and go over the top with um, detailing. So I will be back in a little bit. Okay guys, we're gonna finish up this painting. It's been a couple days since I've gotten back to it and um, 
Yeah, I need to get this video up. I am ooh, gonna do our finishing touches. I might go in here with some um, white gel pen too, and because there are a bunch of um, white lines and marks in and around the edges, and <clears throat> I'd like to get that in there the way I want it to be. <laughs> Um, so yeah, hope everyone's having a great day. My day wasn't bad. Got through, got through the work day. Got everything done that I wanted to do. Met my goals, so that's nice. And now it is officially the start of my weekend because it is Friday. So what have I been doing? I'm on. Oh, uh, what am I on? I am on. Hold on, I'm getting my list. Sorry if I block the screen. Avengers Age of Ultron. That's that's the movie I'm on for my rewatching of all the movies in the list. Um, so that's tonight. That's tonight's big plan. And then I'm reading a book. Hold on. Oh, no, momento. Let me go grab that. I keep meaning to tell you guys. Okay, I got it. The, the Mountain Between Us, I can never remember the big name, um, by uh, Charles Martin. It's pretty good. My Aunt Linda gave it to me. It's a good story. I'm, um, well, she didn't give it to me. <laughs> She's letting me borrow it, and she would like the book back. And she gave me the movie, because there's a movie, too, so that I can read the book and then watch the movie, and we can have a conversation about it the next time I'm allowed to go visit her. It's mostly white, but I don't really leave that alone. We're going, to, well, maybe a little dusting of pink. There we go. And then, what else? I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, I'm reading um, Witchblade again, my comics. Yes, I'm a giant child. <laughs> I love my comic books. I think they're fun. Uh, and they entertain me. I don't read them all the time, but every once in a while you want to go back to a storyline that you like, right? Am I right? And I'm watching my YouTube. I've been watching a lot of um, van life videos. Uh, you know, people, their, their builds and all that. Um, so that's fun. That's fun to think about doing. Probably won't ever do it, but I do think about like the possibility of refurbishing a camper or a van or something and making it my own and traveling the country just just get out in the world and see all the things in in my country that I've always wanted to go see that I just haven't done yet so that's heavy on my mind you know you know a little bit of a little bit of boredom and your brain's like huh I wonder I just wonder what that would be like. So I've been watching a lot of those. And then what am I watching right now? I had to pause it because I'm videoing and I would like to get this video up sometime tonight. Um, James Luke Burke, he and his husband are painting uh, dress forms today. I love him. He's so entertaining. Um, I recommend his channel. JLB Creative. Right? Is that what it is? Pretty sure. Do, do, do. I can tell you. Hold on. James Burke. Yeah, JLB Creative. He He's like company. He's like having a friend over when, when I watch his videos. Just chillaxing, drawing. Have him on in the background. Or when I'm doing my data entry for work, I'll pop him on. Because he's always happy and upbeat and just positive, positive light in the world which I need and love and enjoy. And then catnip. I was watching some catnip videos earlier. Is that good enough? Yeah, I think that's good enough. It's really vibrant. Good Lord. That's okay. I'm going to pop in some um, some white details and that'll, that'll calm it down maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. What did I just grab? Green. Okay. <laughs> Uh, mistakenly put green in my leaves that would be a bummer 
You've got some of this, these little green speckle things that are going this way. Also have they, the white things have started folding out and, and going out this way. So there's spots, little splotches of green right there. And then this one and this one have a little green on the bottom, which is cool. Break that up a little bit. Break it up. Make it not so so pink. It's so pink. Not that that's a bad thing. I just wasn't expecting it to be so vibrant. Okay, now I'm gonna I think I'm gonna, 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 gonna go in with some some dark green. I am really digging this um, this green. What, what, what green is this? Bee root. There's this deep green. I really like this green. You should see. Can you guys see how how deep in I'm I'm in I'm in there with this paintbrush? It's pretty. I got a little divot drilled in <laughs> on that one. I really enjoy this color a lot. It's super vibrant or vibrant, deep and earthy. But this this set is. Uh, this set feels like nature. It feels like it's supposed to be landscape paintings or, you know, n natural things. Um, there's those, and then this is underneath there. So I'm going to go in with the straight, straight darkness right there, like so. There we go. How's that looking? Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay. I'm digging it. I am digging it. There's a, there's a little glow of green on the edge of this leaf under here that you can very plainly see. So I'm going to leave that there. We'll let it be what it is. And then this one goes goes out to here and there's also another like ridge of brightness on that one and this one is just a baby just the baby edge of a, of a leaf tucked behind this other one so we'll do that like so and then more washed out. There we go. And there. Yeah. Okay, I'm digging that. The back of this is a little deeper as well. There. And then I did cover up the stem, which is fine. Because I'm going to go in and make that more prominent with the, the gel pen. There's a little bit of yellow in there. I don't want it to be straight yellow because that's just too much. We want to make it a little more green. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Lift that out a little bit. There we go. Alright, I'm digging that. That's alright. I can, I can deal with that, I suppose. I just want it to be a little more yellow. There we go. And then it does have some of the pink in the petals is actually in this stem as well. So I'll do that. There we go. That's better. Then maybe come up here. Let's see. We just the edges. Uh, maybe we'll switch brushes to do this. This is my teensy little um, Prince and Neptune Zero round. Teensy little baby. We're gonna use that to go ahead and let's see, is that too dark? No, all good. Straight red and just get the the tips of these petals that are folded all up on themselves. Because this is a bud. 
like that and then the center of each one has a little bit of like rouge on it just a little dusting and then like so less prominent but we're gonna do it anyways because I enjoy it how's it looking on the camera oh that looks pretty good I like that I like it yay and then I'll come in and touch up the edges of those petals with a little bit of gel pen maybe we don't have white on our palette at all which is great because I don't usually use white on the palette. This is the palette. Da -da -da. It's a little messy, but I use it. I've, since I got it, I've used it quite a lot. I didn't like it when I first got it at all because the it leaves a bit of a gritty texture. All of the paints do. They all leave a little bit of a gritty texture on your um, on your pieces, and I didn't know if I would like that like I didn't I just I didn't know and I'm getting used to it I kind of I kind of don't mind um this one's less prominent it's more it's more leaned back in a way and not quite as um detailed as the other one with its colors I think I might do a little bit of that in here, though. There we go. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Let's leave those alone. Those are, those are pretty done. And do a little more business on these leaves. And then I think I'm going to gel pen and call it good. Because, cause yeah. Because I can. Alright, get some yellow and throw it in this dark green. Can you guys tell, um, I mean, those that's words under there, that's this is stamp, but can you tell the, the granulation that, that's happening with this paint, how it separates? It's all handmade paint, so that's probably why. I enjoy it, I just wasn't expecting it to be almost all the colors doing that. Alright, let's scoot you over a smidge so I can get my hand in here without messing everything up. And then we're going to go and give these leaves a little shape. There. And then it's pretty dark behind this. This long, tall edge of a side shot of a leaf is what that is. Yeah, there. And then it kind of disappears behind that. Um. But <laughs> I lost my words. <laughs> oh man. I'm so glad it's the weekend. I know for a lot of people that um, the days are kind of smooshing together. And they did. On Thursday, I thought it was only Tuesday. It felt like the week was going so slow. So I was very excited <laughs> when I noted that it was, um, it was indeed almost Friday and I wasn't going to have to get up and log into my computer and sit at my table and behave and do the responsible adulting thing. Make my Earn my money so I can pay my bills so I can play with my art supplies. And move on. This one down here also has a little bit of a... Hey, I'm going through this green like fiercely I have to order another one of those ooh unless I have it in one of my little see I've ordered hold on I'm grabbing some stuff I ordered oops I made a mess I ordered a little bit more paint and one of these is a bonus box so I do have more colors that that he gave he he gave me I bought I have all these ones and I have these ones 
and I have these ones. <laughs> so, so I do have um, some sets to play with, but I don't have more green, right? So you gotta gotta replace what you use. Well, you don't gotta, but that's like the responsible thing to do, right? So you have the colors you enjoy. And you can create the masterpieces oh, <laughs> that you wish to create. I kind of like this. this. See, this lightened way up. How rude. How rude. Oh no, it's that one's the one I did before. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that's the rest of that leaf behind the petal right there. No, no. There we go. That's better. And then there's the rest of it right there. And then this leaf lives over here. There we go. There we go. This one in. that. This one actually ends right there. And it has a stem, but the stem is much lighter than, than the leaf. Just do that. I'm really not digging this stalk back there. It's starting to it's starting to bother me. I'm not. It's just all the. It's just all wrong. Well, it's the stalk of this bud. There we go. That's a little better. That's a little less irritating right there. Yeah. All right. Now. Now. Now it's getting there. See, I just had to mess with it a little bit that red and pink and made I use these colors to make this brown it needs to be a little more red over here just drop it straight in like so and let it do its thing right just let it be there see what that looks like once it dries might have to darken this background a little bit on this corner. I don't know. I don't know quite yet, but I will get there. And there's that one. And then this guy is pretty light, but darkens up on that inner edge right there. Like so. And this guy is pretty dark on his inner edge, right there, like so. That's a little wobbly line, isn't it? Jeez. The paper's buckled a teensy bit right there. Now you can see that bloom. Can you guys see that bloom? The one I put down in the background? Kinda, kinda not. My light's pretty bright. It's fine, I don't mind it. I was just noting it. As, um, as one does. I don't mind blooms in the background. I usually, yeah, I could do that too. Nah, not on this one. On my next one that I'm halfway through, I'm painting a vulture as well. I'm pretty sure he's a vulture. He looks like a vulture. Yeah, I'm halfway through that one. I might do a, a pastel background over the watercolor background on that one just because it can. I, really, I like the um, smooth background, that smooth dusty background um, that happens with my pan pastels over a watercolor wash because uh, you can layer some really nice colors and make it um, make the piece, the watercolor piece pop off the page because you've smoothed out that background and pushed it back a little bit. At least that's how it feels to me. And I really enjoy the effect. So I'll probably do that on the vulture. Because I would like this. 
I got the green background down on him and I was not happy with it. I was painting these two together at the same time and <laughs> that might have been a bad plan because I was using a lot of the colors I was using on this and the background on this and yeah. And that's that story. All right, this one actually, I don't know what I'm doing here. I lost my line, that's what happened. This is the one big leaf that comes down and around like that. And it ends there because there's a white part there. I'm going to have to put that in with the gel pen. Gosh darn it. Oh well. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it work. Right? This strokes are in the wrong direction. There we go. Alright, I'm going to let that dry because I need to make Let's, let's pick up some of this because there we go. There we go. That's a little better. There. Give it a little more shape and a little less because it's pretty forward in the, and lighter than all these down here. And then this guy is slightly darker. But not by much, because it's the rest of this guy from back there. You follow? You guys follow. You get it. There. And then these two. There and there. Did I watch TV last night? Don't remember. Don't remember. I meant to paint last night. Is I meant to finish up this at the very least and get it done. I think I'm I'm gonna call that finished on the leaves, except for um some yellow. Come on. Work it out, work it out. There we go. Yellow, like brightness. Does that work? I can't tell. I can't tell. Oh, battery's gonna die. Hold on a hot minute. Okay, that's better. Now it won't die on us. <sighs> Is finished up so that you guys can or I can we all can move on with our day at least a little yellow just a little yellow shine that's kind of nice gives them a little pop right Just a little splash of it, okay? Like so. This is, I don't want it that yellow. Goodness gracious. Alright, that's a bit much. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, Alice. No, I have no idea who Alice is. <laughs> but apparently she's involved in this situation. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm liking it. Okay. You know what I am waiting for is, um, just popped in my head, as things do, <laughs> um, is, uh, Discovery Season 3. Star Trek's Discovery is a storyline that I enjoy immensely. And I have been waiting impatiently for the next season to come out. I'm ready. <laughs> I watched all of Picard. It was great. I, I enjoyed the entire thing. Um, and I'm ready for the, the the rest of the other show. Like, give it to me. I'm waiting. I'm waiting impatiently over here. Anticipation. There we go. I think oh, I got a big old spooge yellow right there. I don't think I like that. Oh, now I made a bark on the leaf. Oh, well. Oh, well. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. I'm going to have to do something about this background because I splattered a bunch of paint right in there. And I don't like that. All right. All right. Time to go in. Time to go in and do it. Okay. I'll try not to rest my hand on everything. There's like a white shine in the center of almost every single one of these petals. And then there's a crisp, crisp little glow on the tips of most of them. Like that, where, where it looks like the petal has curled in slightly. I don't know if they naturally do that. But uh, that's what I'm seeing, so that's what we're doing. And then there's a couple of these guys that go up like that, and there's one right here, and there's one right here. It's pretty, pretty white, y'all, pretty white. even see that. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit. Zoom in and tape it from the from the paper that I, I moved. I taped it down so that it wouldn't shift around while I was painting. Maybe do that. Zoom in a bit. There we go. Does that help? Kinda. of this one is pretty wobbly. The, the edges are pretty wobbly as well. They're not you know some some leaves that spear and petals that spe are spear shaped are pretty crisp edged. These are not. They're kind of roughly just just the edge is a little busy. A little busy thing. Like so. darkness down here. There we go. It's a little dirty, but yeah, that's a little too dirty, maybe. There's a different, different spot on the palette, maybe. There we go. That's better. I'll just let that be a little bit like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm really liking the white, the the jelly roll on there. That looks awesome. That looks awesome, y'all. Dab there. 
edge of that a little bit. And then these guys are all kind of folded out this way. I think that's it. Are we done with that? I think we're done with that. I'm going to leave it alone. I feel like I'm getting a little carried away with it. And this I'm just going to go in and scribble in some textures. Kind of give them a little bit of some something, something. There we go. Just get it in there like so. And there. Good. I like it. Was that a frame? I was. Dang it. Sorry about that, guys. You can see me do it on this one. Just getting the tips delineated a little bit on this bud so that we can move on to the next painting because that's where I'm at emotionally right now I'm all done thinking about this piece I'd like to I'd like to move on to the next piece <laughs> in a minute I'll, I'll grab the book that I'm using the um, how to draw modern florals book that I'm using for guidance on what the next flower is to paint in this series um, I'm practicing in the book, and then I'm going ahead and uh, creating my own piece of that flower for you guys to see. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. That's why I'm painting this particular flower that I would not have thought to paint on my little own. And I'm learning things, right? Because, yeah, it's always good to learn something new. that and this and this one comes around like that there do we like it oh we do that looks pretty okay i'm gonna zoom back out let's zoom back out so you guys can actually see what i'm doing there we go and there's the piece I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it, uh, I think I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. Because I don't think there's anything I can do really about this splattering that happened back here. Kind of annoying, but it's a practice piece, right? <sighs> yeah. We'll call it part of the background. Whatever. Whatever. And take, let's see, I don't really want to sign it in black because it's, that, that just doesn't seem right. <laughs> so I'm going to take my tenement marker to sign it. And they come with, uh, these particular ones come with a fine point and a brush, brush point, which I love. And I'm going to give it a little, little bit of me. Let's see, well, we're in April already oh so ready for the warm weather it snowed here two days in a row but yeah there we go all done this this flower is called a king pro protea p-r-o-t-e-a protea baby and it is supposed to be the flower of strength and the next video will be magnolias the flower of dignity Ooh. Okay, so there's that. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you in the next video.